<laughs> Did you take a bite? Hey, that's not sweet corn. You know. Good wow. job, bud. Hey everybody, we are out at one of our fields. We have some Pioneer uh, Chrome planted and we're just here to catch you up on here with the yield estimator tool and getting some initial yield estimates on this particular field. Liz is gonna explain a little bit more about Chrome for us. What Chrome brings to the table is a unlocking of the genetic potential within the Pioneer platform. And what that does, it brings roots, it brings strength, it brings yield to the table. It brings that full package to the farm. And again, really trying to protect your plants in your field for the next generation, for insect protection and for yield for the future. We dug the roots earlier and that was kind of interesting to see what that looked like. Hank, do you want to wash the next one? That's be here fine. all day. <laughs> Good <laughs> job, wow. bud. So the, uh, the, her left hand's a forty thousand. Yeah. Yep. There's still like the same amount of like fibrous roots and everything. But it doesn't look a whole lot different from this angle, at least for sure. Yeah, you're right. A little bit wider, but not, bit wider. not a lot. It looks like it held up for that yeah. big of a population difference. It's so interesting to me how you can still see the seed right there. Yeah, that is really funny. <laughs> you can even see the pink seed treatment on it. That's it. Obviously yeah. yield is the most important uh, aspect of what we're after. So all these characteristics of the of the corn plant, we want to we want to look at yield at the end of the day. And um, if that increases, if it increases yield, all those attributes that uh, Liz was talking about, then that's something that we'll definitely take a hard look at. So today we were trying to use the, the Pioneer Seed Estimator to look at what that yield's doing out there, just kind of get that preliminary preliminary estimate. So we were using the Pioneer Seeds app and quickly and easily take those snapshots of those ears comparative to however long it took us to manually count these ears as well when we were comparing the two platforms. Right, and you wouldn't even technically have to pick the ears, right? Yeah. You nope. can just leave them on the stalk. Yep, you can just leave them on the stalk and just get them in the shade and run your estimate. With these hybrids, it definitely looked like your yields were going up with the population pretty significantly, actually. Yeah. Um, some of the lower population ears are massive, but that doesn't necessarily mean full yield for that acre at the end. Oh, Hank smiling in the back. Are you smiling? So we're always like pulling ears this time of year to see what our yield potential is, but would you say it's like above or below what we actually see at harvest? Uh, I would say this is a pretty conservative estimate and just what this field has done in the past, um, I would say it's pretty conservative even on the low side. And so I hope we're, I hope we're pleasantly surprised and I, I know we will be. Mm -hmm. um, just especially Whoa. as how this field has looked throughout the season. It's only new like every year. Multiple things. Yeah. yeah. So why is it important that we tried chrome this year? Um, chrome is relatively new okay. and uh, we like to try new things and if honestly if we're not moving forward we're moving backwards so if if there's something new on the market we like to try it and see how it works for us and uh, give it give it an opportunity. What do you, when do you think we'll be picking this field? November. Okay. Well, that's when we'll be back. Yeah. Talk about harvest. It's my guesstimate. <laughs> yeah, Liz has been out here a lot. We so. learned quite a bit and brought you to fields that weren't even yours. So yeah. it's been appreciated. Yeah.